the wheels on the wheel of a true car go round and round, up and down, side to side, back and forth, round and round. Oh, Becky, Becky, you've got to stop. What? I like this song. I can't take it anymore. We've been driving for hours and, wait, is that the same pink lawn flamingo I saw like an hour ago? Hmm, no. I know that tone. Are we lost already? Never. I've been taking all right turns at every intersection. You don't do that when you're lost. That means we're going in circles. That's it. I'm pressing the red button. Oh, no, Kate. Don't do that. Press the teleporter button. It ruins the paint job on the Weird But True car. Well, you know what? That thing gets results. And I'm pretty sure you were lost, and here we are. Our first destination on Kate and Becky's Amazing America road trip. Uh, where is this exactly? Because that house, yeah, it's really nice and all, but I think it's too small to be our hotel. Well, we're actually in front of Betsy Ross's house in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Oh, okay, so... Betsy, friend of yours? No, Betsy Ross was a seamstress during the 1700s, and she sewed American flags. Oh, excellent first stop, Kate. A little history to start us off on our journey through America. Okay, let me set the scene for you. The story goes that General George Washington himself came to Betsy Ross asking for a flag design for the brand new nation of the United States of America. Washington had a quick sketch, but Betsy was the one who finalized the design with red, white, and blue stripes and 13 five-pointed stars. Wow, Kate. That's amazing. And she did all that right here in this little house. Well, there's actually a twist. There's no evidence that Betsy Ross sewed the first American flag. No letters or historical documents exist. The story didn't actually come out until 100 years later. But there's no doubt that Betsy Ross was making flags during the Revolutionary War. Just the fact of who sewed the first American flag may end up being a mystery forever. Dun, dun, dun! The greatest American history mystery of all time. But you know that there are more than 13 stars on the flag these days, right, Kate? Uh, yeah, 50 when I last counted. So you know the story behind the new design? Do tell. Kate, the 50-star American flag was actually designed by a high school student. Wow, really? Her name was Betsy Ross. What? No way! No, I'm just kidding. His name was actually Bob Heff. But here's the real story. The year was 1958, and Alaska and Hawaii were about to become states. 17-year-old Bob had the perfect idea for his history assignment, make a 50-star flag. So he painstakingly sewed on two stars to his family's 48-state flag. It took him 12 hours to complete his homework. Only 12 yeah, hours? Bug on me. Well, that's about 11 hours and 59 minutes off. longer than I spent on Bug off! Homework. But anyway, he was pretty proud of his design, but his teacher only gave him a B minus. Bob was so upset, he went to his teacher about the grade, and his teacher said, if you don't like the grade, get the flag accepted in Washington. After two years, 21 letters, and 18 phone calls, the President Dwight Eisenhower called up Bob and asked him to come to D.C. on July 4th for the official adoption of the new flag, Bob's flag. And in 1960, the new flag was officially adopted, and his old teacher gave him an A. Yay, Bob! Well, that was a touching story, but we better get going. Our five-minute photo op is done, and I know where we're headed next, Kate. Okay, well, as long as you don't get us lost again, let's put on Kids Place Live and get driving for our road trip across America right here on the Weird But True Show.